All right, guys, we are here and we are going to be putting on this guy. Ooh. But first, I've got to take off what I think is a beautiful PDI ducktail. So let's go ahead and remove this first and see what we're working with here. All right, so holding this bad boy on is a few allen key screws pretty easy you can tell my hack job super nice right <laughs> we'll go ahead and loosen this thing up and take it off all right so we got all the bolts out and now the hard part i've got to de-seal basically the gasket that we have on there so oh, it's gonna be a little bit of a process i'm gonna use this guy and hopefully Cover it all back up. All right, we've got the template from Getty taped to the trunk lid, top and bottom. And now we start the scary part, drilling some holes. All right, so the tops are all drilled, lined up as well as we could. And then now we're gonna go ahead and do the bottom, make sure nice and snug to the trunk edges and drill upward. All right, we got the holes drilled all the way through. Gonna just do some quick cleanup and uh, we'll see kind of what we're dealing with. It's always super hard because you're going through the top of the deck lid and the lower, and you're trying to line up those eyes. And you've also got to make sure that uh, the bottom hole is big enough for the bolt and the, the nut and the bolt to go through all right. So I'm obviously not super concerned with the paint on the car. Eventually I'll probably wrap the whole thing. So don't mind me while I just kind of like go to town on this thing. So let's go ahead and take the templates off. Don't look at the trunk deck, it's disgusting. The PDI ducktail. I had to put a silicone stuff on there and it just, it was not pretty. So. I can take it all off or leave it and do it. When I clean it off next time, we'll see. Might just get a new trunk deck at some point. I will do a little test fit here. See how this thing sets. All right, so we got the bigger holes coming in now on the back. And we'll see if we can line these things up. All right, so putting these on, the, mounting these holes is, I don't know if people have some magic way of doing this, but this is the most complicated thing I've done. I've done this twice now, and every time it is ridiculously hard. I'm not sure if the templates are off, if they change in transit, if my trunk deck's not centered, I don't know what's going on, but I cannot get these things lined up properly, so I gotta re-drill these stupid holes, and I don't know what's going on. Let me know if you guys have the same issues, because this is not easy, it's not plug and play at all like you do not just put the template on lay it out drill and mount the thing unless you've got like god's alignment i don't know all right all in all we got it on looks fine but these holes i've drilled huge and they're still they're still not even in alignment even with the templates even with drilling them out even more so just be super aware of the alignment because these, especially the front two, I had to really finagle to get to go in. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's not super easy to do. So make sure you triple, triple measure, quadruple. I don't know how you do it to alleviate it, but that's uh, where we're at. So, yep, good luck with that. All right, so we got it on. You know, all in all, I think fit and finish, the PDI ducktail is probably a little bit cleaner for just the ducktail portion, but we still gotta put the uprights on and the wing, and we'll see if it makes it all come together. All right, 
we're going to go ahead and put on the first upright. It's going to go on just like that. I want to go ahead and set all the screws nice and light. It's great when it lines up, huh? I guess that's the variables. You're using your car, their template, you know, whatever their template came off of, right? So. Don't go too tight on the fiberglass. You don't want to strip out um, any of the threads. Yeah, so go ahead and unscrew those real quick. Looks like I might have a little bit of dirt on the lens there. Gotta clean that up. Alright. I mean I thought the Yeti would be even easier, but it's just it's just not for me. I don't know why. I'm probably I'm not very experienced with it, you know? So maybe if you guys have any tips or tricks that really transform the ease of install, that would be sweet. And uh, yeah. Let's see here. I'm not gonna like snug everything up super tight until we get the the wing on itself, but once you get the ducktail on, the rest, you know, should go smooth, assuming everything is properly set up, so. Go ahead and now we take the provided four bolts, nuts and bolts, and we'll line up uh, the wing itself, the fun part. Like the wing goes go ahead and put some set screws initially. That way we can go ahead and Line everything else up. Let's see here. So we've got two adjustments for the articulation of the wing. Got a real aggressive one. Looks a little too aggressive to me. And the one that's a little more mild. So I'm going to start with the mild one. And Let's check, just in case I do this wrong. Be the first guy to put on a wing backwards. There we go. I've got the uh, screen cleaned or the lens, and yes, it does go on this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue on here. All right, everything went on relatively smooth. Tighten these in till they're pretty tight. You don't want to hear any of the fiberglass cracking for the rear mounts. Uh, these went on. Don't use a power tool or anything. Um, you do them by hand. I tried to snug this one on, even though it's metal to metal. Uh, this thing got stripped out, so have to do it by hand just to be triple safe. I don't know if the parts or maybe I'm just horrible at this stuff. Maybe not. I don't know. I've worked on dirt bikes my whole life and. Uh, sometimes I think the smaller companies may struggle sometimes with consistency and quality control of different components. Of course, you know, this happens from time to time, but it's just, I feel like every time I work with small companies, 
you know, more power to them for making awesome products. But part of that strain and that trouble and having such small resources sometimes may be um, just access to certain types of products. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this thing off and replace it with something else. And yep, went to go take this thing off and it snapped right out. So it's not cross threaded or anything. Just uh, fun stuff, so cool. All right, I got it replaced with the very similar style. Probably gonna switch out all of them eventually, just have matching. But there she is. Man, I don't know, some people put it really aggressive. So it's pretty wild. I like it. Where it's at. I'm gonna take the car out, you can't really see. In person you can, looks sick. If anybody wants the PDI ducktail, it is a beautiful work of art. Let me know, it's wrapped in black, ready to rock. I'm gonna put the end plates on and call her a day. All right, I put the end plates on. They're carbon, but they're, I don't know, they're not really finished very really nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, probably just paint them black because that looks pretty crappy, but overall, she'll get there. I'm gonna paint the uh, uprights gloss black as well. Um, that way everything's just more seamless. And yeah, I might turn this thing around real quick and throw her in the garage and kind of see how it looks that way too. All right, day two, we are now going to, I drove the car around, it's so sick. It looks so much better in my opinion. Let's see, I mean, check it out. I think it just looks how it's supposed to, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the uprights off and as well as the end plates. I'm gonna paint these to match, so let's do that. All right, so we've got the end plates painted. It came out pretty mediocre. The other one drying here. I didn't really go into too much detail on those ones just because it's not really a big deal to me. Um, the end plates, it's literally the vinyl wrap stuff, so like the plastic dip. And so we're just gonna go ahead and try them out, make sure I like all the colorways. And we are switching uh the screws and the nuts because look this is the second one that snapped just in removing it i didn't over tighten these or anything crazy and it just snapped under removal so two of those were no good so i went and got something a little more fitting with the crush washer crush ring and uh, a little bit shorter too so they're not sticking out all crazy and call me crazy these probably look like garbage, but I just uh, silicone sprayed over the uh, uh, the mounting screws too, just to see if I like them. If I do like them, I'll go ahead and get them done professionally. Here's the car without the uh, wing on it. And I was thinking about doing a silicone bead just to seal everything off. Got a pretty decent scratch right here too. It sucks, um, but it's not a show car. So, not a big deal. Again, if anybody wants to buy the PDI ducktail, it's got a, a couple loose um, mounts on it. So let's see. This one's stripped out completely. And uh, I believe it's this one is also stripped out. So the other ones are good. It's got some gasket sealer on it that these all work and yep you probably have to make a template for it the other side plate it's supposed to be a gloss vinyl wrap but it's not that awesome let's see what it looks like in the sun you can see all the imperfections so yeah it's not horrible but it's not great so all right we got the uprights on we got a little bit of issues here but other than that, we're all right. All right, got the wing plates on, wing mounted. I think it looks way better in black. Just much more smooth. Now I just gotta put the in plates on. All right, the uprights mounted, sorry. Now I'm gonna put the in plates on. I put some gold 
nuts on there instead just to pop it a little bit and let's put the end ones on see how she looks all right so i just finished it it is officially on the car look at that oh it looks so sick yeah there's thumbnail clip boom so yeah went on pretty good i think the car looks a thousand times better but everyone's different Overall, the install was pretty chill. Um, just getting lined up on the original template is the hardest part, right? So once we got that done, came out good. And now everything's on. You can see the gold hardware. It's matched little gold accents on the car. And eventually, maybe I'll take off the decals and the emblems and just run it pretty under the radar. But uh, yeah, I think Looks sick. It's got the Joe Toth rear diffuser and front flip and uh, Maxton side splitters. So all in all, looks great. 